Hey everyone, David Beatty here, Sheep School. Every day is a school day when you're working with sheep. So, just moving your lambs across the road here. Uh, get them into a long pen I've set up here. It's, it's uh, time for a fluke dose and get them moved. Right, so the road blocked. You get them into the pen. There's my mammy, she's gonna stop there, fair play to her. A little dog here. Way, way. So these are a batch of yo lamb. They're dry. They're not gonna have any lambs this year, no ram with them. I have 60 that I run with the ram. You see the grass is well out here now. Come on, pops, way. Bring them on. It's not totally yet, but I need this for next spring when all the O's lamb down, so I really need to get them moved off. Come on, Pops, here, put them on. Hey, come by. They're going. Thanks, Lala. There's Mammy. Doing a great job. <laughs> These are good by you. No, no, uh, we're doing a job here and we're doing a bit of vlogging. I'll, sh I'll show you later. Thanks for your help. Good luck. I'm on you you don't want tea? Uh, no, I'm fine for tea. Thank you. Now these lambs, these yo lambs, these are all female lambs. The, the lambs we've done the previous video off in the shed was all the ram lambs. So all these are female lambs. I suppose the major difference, well, three differences. Number one, they've been sheared. Number two, they've been on a good, good grass, good reseed, sin. Probably since they were weaned they've been on good grass and uh, number three they've no meal so they haven't seen any meal they're as good as the ram lambs that were in the shed on a kilo of meal a day they look they're nice blocks of lambs and these aren't even the pick of the lambs these are the lesser ones so i pulled out 60 lambs that were heavy enough to go to the ram this year so my point is it just goes to show like i said in the last video Finishing lambs in a shed is not profitable. I've made the decision they need to go. If you haven't got grass for them, I need to get rid of them as stores. So these old lambs, they've had a nice run. So there's some of the reseeding I've done there. But that's all been reseeded that hill there. So they've been on that type of grass for the last uh, two months. And you really can see it on them. They've done very well. They're okay for worms this time of year. They've had a fluke dose six weeks ago today. They're due there. Another fluke dose, it's the one thing you'd be a little bit worried about this time of year. So we'll just try and get them into the pen here. Pops, away, away, bring her back, away, come on. Good dog, bring her on. Good dog, put them on now. Ground conditions are very poor, but look, we'll work with what we've got. This is the handling facility. Very simple stuff now, very simple. So all we have is a front gate that that's just like so couple of eight foot panels it is mobile i suppose and it's modular just all clips together but two eight foot panels and the same back gate now, just latches in like that the positioning of this pen just suits my system so you'll see here i've got access to that field this field it's easy enough to load them up this way got access here I'm just going to have to improve on how i cross the road but it was just, I had this originally fenced along here. I stuck up this extra row of wire here. So it's like a long narrow pen and that'll hold all the sheep I can fit basically on this block of land. So, look, it works. Grand in the summer, you don't have this. So you don't have this mess in the summer, but this time of year you do. But. So, I'm just load her up here. Just to give you an idea of what we're using here for uh, fluke dose. So this is nitroxanil, I think it's called. It's a injectable uh, fluke treatment. That uh, stuff that leaves the yellow stain down the uh, fleece after injecting. You see it on cattle as well. 
quite a long withdrawal on it but it is probably in my opinion probably one of the best fluke doses available uh, now these were done exactly six weeks ago with uh, triclobenazole which is supposed to cover all three uh, stages of fluke so I got a little bit nervous after I told me vet what I had used on the entire flock just before the rams went out and uh, he said you do realize that resistance is a serious problem with triclobenazole so I'm very nervous I, I would potentially leave it a little bit longer than six weeks but I'm just so nervous that I'm going to go in with this it's a very I trust this I really trust this compared to um, triclobenazole like I knew there was resistance but I hadn't used it in I think three four years uh, so I assume that I shouldn't have resistance but apparently the resistance doesn't disappear over time so look we'll hit them with this so we'll be sure we're covered so it's injectable subcutaneous under the skin it's a simple dose to do now that's me uh, it's just a simple little uh, dosing gun it's actually me vaccinator I use for uh, the Heptavac P and uh, it's very very simple I find this one of the easiest doses because there's no no physical catching sheep like you know wrestling sheep to get a dosing syringe so the major downside to this dose is if you get your quantities wrong if you overdose with this we see you happen to forget or you double dose the sheep you could almost guarantee she'll die it's severe it will kill them but it kills the fluke too so that's why we're using it So that's it, all dosed. Uh, I suppose next job is loading now. Into the trailer, we've about, you can see it, 10 miles maybe maximum. Drop them off, I'd say two runs and do it. But. Now the old workhorse is hooked on to the Eiffel Williams system. We're backed in here. This will be good fun trying to get these loaded here, but we'll give it a go. As you can see, this is the problem with a semi-permanent pen or should I call it permanent now I suppose it's not going anywhere it's just a mess this time of year but look this is the last time I'll be using it or hopefully the last time I'll be using it this year Come on, pops. In. Good dog. So that's load number one in the trailer. Uh, we're heading with these to uh, uh, get a winter grazing I got off. Uh, he's actually a suckler farmer, believe it or not. But I suppose the land around here is pretty heavy gets wet easily um, it's a heavy clay type soil so it works in my favour I suppose it has its disadvantages don't get me wrong the big batch of sheep can tramp grass into the field waste grass make a mess very quick but I suppose the advantage is cattlemen this time of year, October, November time, it's just too wet. The ground is too wet for cattle. It's been very mild. It's been over 10 degrees for the last six weeks. Daytime temperature. Um, grass has still been growing. That mat of woolly grass come next spring is of no benefit at all to these uh, cattlemen and dairymen. So, they're very happy to get uh, 
uh, sheep on what we call for uh, winter grazing uh, and luckily enough this man uh, this sucker man it's a new piece of ground he's after buying and he's fenced it round and round with sheep wire which is great for me no electric fence temporary electric fence and I should say so I know when I open the gate let them in the sheep are still going to be here now the only thing I'm a bit nervous about is dogs I've no idea what dogs is not too far from the main town I've no idea what uh, people are like in the locality keeping the dogs under control so all I can do is hope for the best So that's first batch unloaded. As you can see, it's pretty good grazing. There's a nice little bit of picking on that. It's a uh, pretty hilly ground. That's fairly typical of uh, Calvin land. Steep hills, Calvin is, sorry, I should explain. Calvin is the part of the world that we're in here in the Midlands of Ireland. So it's pretty hilly. You'll see it's pretty steep. Tricky hills for navigating with machinery but ideal for these little woolly boys they can pick away so off for the next load Yeah, so we've load number two Ready to go. So that's it for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please give us a like and a subscribe it'll help the channel because every day working with sheep is a school day